Ooh, welcome back, fellow eccentrics. I am the Neural, and this is the Blockcentric server. And if you'll just turn your gaze over there, oh, it loaded up. Okay, you can see what Ranquest has been doing. Is he? Is that him up there? Is that a mob? That must be a mob. Ranky is over there, and he's working hard on. Uh, getting the rest of this b built. So we didn't talk about what we were going to do with this central portion. He went ahead and did that and I love it. It um it really uh, he pulled the clay, he used the clay the, <laughs> the the rest of the clay that I had over there. Uh he used that to make a the base layer. So he pulled an ele uh a fantasy element into that portion of the tower. Uh, but the rest, he kept steampunky uh, elements like the stone and th that crane there. You can see he already made a, a like a claw arm there. Uh, so this is all coming coming along. But before before we do anything else with that, I am going to start working on the houses on uh, 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 eh, on this level, right here. Uh, so uh, uh, on across all of this, by the way. So what I believe we're going to do is instead of like Ranky su suggested, instead of having a road go into this, into the valley from here, this is way too dark, into the valley from here, we're going to have a road going uh, this early direction through here, very well, through here, Turning into a boardwalk uh, uh, on the the sea. I don't want your stuff over the the, the water here. Then around hereish, it should uh, it should split off, and one piece will go around and up and through here up to here. Ow! Up to this place right here, and the other piece will go on. Ah! Go away, screw, no. And the other piece will keep on going. Ew. 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 No. There, perfect. And the other piece will go on through here. So what I I think I'm going to do right now is ugh, actually move on from here and imagining that there's a, some sort of a road here. Uh, uh, ah! Uh. And you die now. I said die now. Thank you. And may you die now. Please, thank you. Uh, going, going ahead and imagining that we've already built this road, you are in the way. Go away. Bone, go away. Uh, Go, going ahead, imagining that we've already built some sort of road that uh, comes from that boardwalk there. Might even be a bridge, who knows. From here, so let's say it continues on through here, and now we're, we're gonna have a row of houses. And I do mean a freaking row. I wanna build like... 10... 10... 15 houses... I'm not sure how many yet, how many we can fit up to the other side. So that's what I am going to be doing. I have a ton of wood on me uh, and I have lots to do. So what I think I'm gonna do is just get started and see how everything goes. Let's get started right... Uh, let's get started right... Yeah. Perfect! Okay, so I am out of wood. That was all of seven or eight stacks of logs just to build the freaking frames for this thing uh, but I've been hard at work and this is what the front is of the thing is looking so far so you can see uh, it goes all the way up to here maybe I can even cram another one here maybe who knows any hoozles, uh, this R Ranky pu uh, put he put this here, uh, so to to outline the where the road's gonna be. So these blocks uh, will be the road, and in front of the road there is going to be another 
seven or eight stacks of wood logs here. Uh, and it's gonna be way more than seven or eight stacks because after the logs, there's the wood planks themselves and blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, but those are gonna be here on the waterfront right here. Uh, so afterwards, I, I'm not sure. I would like to have some balconies uh, looking over the bay. Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a status uh, status update progress report thing. Uh, I've just outlined where the walls are gonna be because it's very easy to lose tracks and then to lose track of where they they go and then I could just go in by one here uh, in this house I could go uh, come in by one and put the wall here and then come in by one there and put the wall here and yeah now we have a one wide gap so that's a no-go uh, uh, but uh, essentially I brought you here because Ranky left me a book and I'd like to read it with you to my dear friend the Neural. I wanted to apologize to you and your viewers for my from for my absence in this project and on YouTube. Ah, uh, well, uh, we, we did miss you, but uh, you know, uh, eh, we'll keep on building. While I know I don't need to apologize, there you go. I feel like I have let you down in a way. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, well, I wouldn't say uh, I wouldn't say that. I hope to reconcile this as soon as I can. Tonight being a good start. I hope you don't mind. I started to work on the lower half of the tower. Not at all. The lower half of the tower already looks awesome. Uh, the tower, tower. There are a couple of reasons for my absence, not only from the server but from YouTube as well. Work has been a big factor, that is true. I've been talking to, to Ranky and uh, he's going through a lot. Yeah, the, there's a lot going on there. Uh, but I have in quite the creative... Uh, work has been a big factor, but I have in quite the creative funk lately that comes and goes like night and day. Well, I, I, can, uh, I can relate to that. Part of that is due to work again, but... The other comes from the Minecraft fatigue. Yeah, that can happen. Today was the first time in a long time that I logged into YouTube. I went to the source of my inspiration of the past and was able to watch a few episodes from people that started it all. That's always cool. It lit a spark in me that I haven't that I haven't felt in a long time. Oh, that's great news. I'm I am I am relieved. Unfortunately, due to my computer situation, I will not be making any episodes. Well, as long as you're here building with me, that's okay. Uh, at least not for my channel. Yeah, you'll do it for me! Ha! I would like to still do some collab work on your channel. It's like you read my freaking mind! Until I am able to get home to my gaming PC. Without it, I have come to appreciate it quite a bit. The lack of sufficient hardware has uh, has also added to my Minecraft fatigue because I really do like making videos. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I feel like r I'm rambling at this point, so I am going to end this here. Thank you for understanding, and the place is looking amazing. Why, thank you. Uh, look for some work by me coming soon. Rankquest. Well, Ranky, I will be looking for some more work by you com coming soon. That little bit of work is already looking great. Uh, and uh, with Rankquest uh, starting to be a little more active uh, after <clears throat> after he's got settled down in his new job and uh, just figuring all his stuff out, uh, it will be a, a whole different game now. So if we're making progress now, uh, from here on out, it will be even more. Uh, but anyway, I ramble. I need to get this all in place and these little guys in place too and hopefully build up at least some of the houses to show you how it looks like a little bit build up, built up. So I will be right back as soon as I've chopped away a billion spruce trees. Oh, before I forget, guys, uh, remember to take a look at the Space Engineers series on the second channel, the Technical Neural. Uh, link will be in the description. It's also on the featured channels. We've gotten over 500 views on the first episode alone. We've got four episodes so far, five episodes today. 
uh, today as of recording. Uh, so be sure to check it out. It is really cool. I'm really happy. Uh, everybody's enjoying the series a lot. I'm having a ton of fun uh, recording it and making it look awesome for you guys. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say before we get on to the rest of the show. So I'll be right back. Wow, that was a lot of effort. <laughs> before we look at what we did, uh, let me show you this. Now, this I think looks much better now that Ranquest replaced the thingy, the spruce logs with oak logs. Now, I think the, this uh, mixes a, a whole lot better. The crane is looking just right like this. Such a small little detail, but, but it was it was really throwing me off. I was really not enjoying it. Oh, by the way, I screwed up when I built these boats. Never, ever, ever build a boat or a ship only one block below the the water line thing. Like that thing is practically floating on its keel. That is wrong. The water should be around those trap doors, depending on whether the ship is full or empty so screwed up noted will not do it again but on to the fun stuff which is a v uh, district village uh, thing Ugh, this okay so plans this took so freaking long and so much wood just uh, just uh, uh. moving on what are the plans for this place? Uh, the plans were, and then they changed like plans usually do, the plans were to have a, a narrow road going around here between these two rows of houses that would be like kind of oppressing, kind of like all on top of you and really cramped and... But uh, no, we couldn't do that. Or, or we could, but... Uh, Ranquest had an idea. Oh, by the way, Drakkard's on. Uh, this all automated thing to real use. I just crafted 16 stacks of redstone into repeaters and such. Well, uh... Well, that must help. <laughs> okay, but uh, Ranky came up with a, with a cool idea. Which is, having this building, this is only one building uh, from here all the actually from here here it, it's quite easy <laughs> getting lost here uh before they're actually they have their interiors so from uh there where where i said right there all the way up to that and all of this will be dug out uh, the road will still be on this level but the building itself it'll get dug out uh and it will be an entrance to the mines, so it'll have a bottom entrance uh, over down over in the down there, uh, and it will go like that uh, past the waterfall. And, oh, mm, yee. we have to think this through because we want a wheel, a gear, a water wheel. Excuse me. Uh, we want a water wheel uh, getting powered by that waterfall if we have a path coming from the road here th this was Ranky's idea I really like it uh, which is having the road there and then uh, having a pathway just start uh, twisting its way upwards uh, o up and over this roof section here and going through there uh, so getting us giving us uh, an entrance to the mines uh, further further up the mountain uh, and I still don't know what we can do around there but it should be uh, I will think of something but as for the bottom portion if we have a water wheel say uh, say here ish like five blocks that direction uh, that road will have to hmm I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this, I have to admit. But yeah, I'm really sorry that I couldn't uh, build this whole thing up. Uh, 
in this episode, but th this really took way longer the, than I was expecting. Uh, let's just uh, get a few a few details in here. Uh, way way longer because it really took a lot of materials, and I, I have to say I think I I wasted more wooden logs on the frames themselves than all the the rest of the materials put together it's really outrageous how many wood logs these frames take uh damn uh, so that's part of the reason why we uh why it took me so long ugh ugh come on uh, but yeah i i wanted to do so a little bit of detailing with you i almost got creeper a while back oh and i didn't craft any bugger uh we can still do this because uh, this uh, was this this actual style of building I learned from Madness 64, which is uh, I'll, I'll leave his link the link to his channel in the description because he is a wonderful wonderful builder and he has built like a um, a whole medieval city in uh, without texture packs so uh, full blown default texture pack. No, let's not do this, because this is lazy. Full-blown default texture pack, uh, and uh, he pulled it off so freaking well uh, that it just blew my mind. It blows my mind, really. The, the guy is really an awesome builder. And <clears throat> he was... Uh, let's uh, do this with uh, Spruce. Uh, and he was... Uh, he's doing a series, actually. Uh, just give me all. He's doing a series where he explains or he goes through the process of building several um, uh, s several houses stacked together. So I followed, I roughly followed uh, his instructions there and I ended up with this uh, effect which I think uh, turned out really cool, really great. Uh, and I, I'm really happy with, with this build so far and I... Uh, no. Uh, oh, I can't sprint. Come on, guy. Let's just not leave this unfinished. Oh, something tells me I forgot to do this whole floor. Oh! Screw it. Uh, yeah, I forgot to do this whole floor. So I've been keeping this really... Excuse me. Unbelievably simple. Uh, just because it's not about the interior. Ugh. It's not about the interiors, let's be honest. This is all pretty much for show. For show. Oh, these are bottom slabs. Okay. Um, this is pretty much for show. So, uh, yeah. This, I hope, will, will give a, a very cool effect. Uh, having the torches near the, the windows. Um, at night, the, the windows should... I know, I know, I don't have any windows per se, I don't have any glass panes or whatever, but uh, yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there and it's gonna look freaking awesome uh, so, uh, I am going to say goodbye to you for today uh, as soon as I get rid of this, okay, perfect and on that note yeah, starting to come alive, isn't it? On that note, fellow eccentrics, thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the episode or a dislike if you didn't. And until next time, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.